this lesson, we're going to take a look at variables and um, some things that we can do with them. And we'll also talk a little bit about data types and um, being able to match the type of data type to what we are trying to use. So variables are basically a um, placeholder or something that represents a value. So let's take a look at kind of your basic math expression. So we have x equals 1. So if we go back to the print statements that we were looking at before and we were to print x and this time without the quotes on either side because it's a variable so we're just saying print whatever is equal to that variable we can print it and you can see that it is 1. A cool thing is that throughout your script that this variable can actually change so we can say x is now equal to string there we go and then if we run this you'll see that it will still print out one when it goes to that but if we were to go in and print x again you'll see that it prints one and then it prints string so it gives us a lot of opportunities to do really cool things in python um, unlike in other languages, you can change it from one data type to another. So when we start over here, we have an integer, which is just a whole number, um, one, two, three, four, and so on. Then we change it to a string value. And so we can pretty much hold whatever we want in these uh, variables so that we can use it elsewhere and do different things with them. So. A practical example for Maya, we can say um, import maya.cmds as mc, and then we can create a variable that is um, obj name is equal to my sphere. Then when we call mc.polysphere, we can go in and say name is equal to object name, and then run this. So we can see that the sphere that we created in the scene, oops, there we go, is um, a sphere and it's called my sphere and this is good um, for in the future if we create a um, GUI or something like that and we wanted to give the user the opportunity to name that specific object they can input the name into the GUI and then um, you hold that as a placeholder so whatever they p type inside of that GUI becomes that variable and then we can say that we want to apply it to the name and, and wherever else we want to use that. Um, you can use that with numbers. So if you want to make a certain number of copies of something, you can type in the number and then you hold that into the variable. And then when you run your um, code, it will um, place that into the number of duplicates or however you process that action. So that is that with this. Um, let's see what else we can do really quick with it. So we can do MC dot poly cube and then name equals OBJ name. And this will create, let me clear out the scene so that we know exactly where we're at. This will create another object, but you can see in Maya by default, it will add a one to the end. So that's something to be careful to make sure that your names are unique of the objects, but sometimes you're creating a whole bunch of the same object, for example. Um, in this case, I created a um, cube and a sphere, but maybe we have two spheres that we're creating and it is okay, we just want to add a one to the end, we can do that. So um, along with using the variables like this, you can also concatenate um, variables. So this is object name is my sphere, and then uh, we can create 
a number which is equal to, let's say, 5. If so specifically, we wanted to create my sphere 5. So when we go to create the mc.poly sphere, we want to do obj name plus num. And we need to tell it exactly what that is equal to. So it is name is equal to object name plus num. And we run that, and you can see that we have two different data types. So this is where we have to be a little bit careful. So right now we have a string here. And then we have a actual number. So we can change this to be a string. That's one way we can run it. And when we run it, you can see that now it calls it MySphere 5. But sometimes you do have an actual like integer that you're using in other places, but you want to use that here inside of it and concatenate it. So another way you can concatenate the strings together would be to do a function here in Python, str. And let's give us a little bit more space and make it num. So basically what this function str does is converts whatever is that variable into a string. So if we run this this time, you'll see we don't get an error and it actually processes through the way we expect it to. So we're changing the numeric value into a string that we can use to name this object. So that is kind of some basic elements of using uh, variables. In the next lesson, we're going to kind of take this to a next step and um, also start using uh, loops. So we're going to create a while loop and the while loop will allow us to do multiple of an action until a certain condition is met. And then that will also allow us to use the variables that we have and change them throughout time each time it loops and create a slightly different effect each time it loops or we can tell it when to stop looping so we'll take a look at that in the next lesson